Hi there, it's your favorite hairy woodsman again. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of snow. <laughs> and um, I'm on my way down this, this steep hill here. Um, and we're going to get a fire started down in the shelter. If we can find it under the snow. We're going to talk about the fine people. <laughs> The five very fine people who met at Davos <laughs> to uh, excuse me for laughing. I'm just laughing at myself, being ironic. <clears throat> they met at Davos, and uh, maybe they're still there, um, uh, whining and dining while they are discussing how they're going to <laughs> design our future. <laughs> and combat a global warming. So it appears that it is uh, quite cold. Um, this camera, this GoPro, stopped. Uh, it it died died on me. <laughs> but um, let's see here if we can uh, get some uh, coffee. Yes, a cup of coffee, chocolate coffee, <laughs> and we have the fire going. And we are here in the shelter by the frozen river so uh, life is good oh that was very <coughs> very warm oh, both my tongue there so i have some uh, some information here that you might not have heard i find this very interesting it's uh greatest global risks okay and this is a, a poll that was made. They asked, uh, let's see, um, 1,490 experts, they call them, across academia, business, government, in the international community and civil society. Um, uh, <laughs> and uh, what I find interesting is what they put as number one. On the list. Uh, you want to guess what's what's number one? Uh, greatest global risks. Number one in a time frame of two years. Misinformation and disinformation. The fact is that these people, whoever they are, put misinformation and disinformation as number one. That should tell us a lot. When the World Economic Forum puts, or their so-called experts, put misinformation and disinformation, as they call it, as the greatest global threat within a two-year time frame from 2023, I believe it was, um, <laughs> it means that that's what they're going to try to do something about. In other words, expect rampant censorship. Expect the silencing of those who disagree. But it goes hand in hand with everything else we've seen coming from that, from those people. <sighs> to summarize, these people who meet there, they don't want the people to decide. They don't want <laughs> the dirty peasants, us, the little people, to have any say on anything. This is about silencing those who disagree. Those who will not go along with Klaus Schwab and his his uh, <laughs> companions, his comrades, and their plans for us. You know, it's 
it's disgusting. It, it really is disgusting. And these people who meet there, flying down there in the private jets and all that, they disgust me so much. They meet there and they talk about how the useless eaters, as they call us, actually they do. They call us useless eaters. How they're going to control our lives, design our future, put us in boxes in 15-minute cities, take away our freedom of movement, our freedom of expression. And one of their uh, futurists, one of the people sitting on stage there, you know, talking about how the future is going to look, he, he says that free will will be gone and, and all that. Uh, I mean, this is about censorship, it's about controlling the opinion. And it disgusts me. It, and it reminds me about things we have seen before, up through history. Things that led to wars. And we need to speak up and we need to use our voice. Even though right now I'm actually cold and uh, I should have put an extra jacket on actually. I thought it would be warmer today. But yeah, it's... Um, it's horrible. And and there are people who are, who are saying, you, you know, oh, it's just some rich people meeting there. Who, who, who cares? Well, it's not just some rich people. Most of the state leaders are there. Most of the leaders of the global um, organizations are there. Big corporations, tech companies. And it's this term, right? Conspiracy theory. Theorists. <laughs> Theorists. <laughs> Excuse my language here. Getting, beca <coughs> becoming difficult to speak now. It's this idea that if you think that there are some people who meet and make plans about how, how, how they're going to control our lives, if you think that, then you're a conspiracy, theory, conspiracy theorist. Well, what's, what are they doing down in Davos then? I mean, to those people... <laughs> wake up! To those people, I would say, wake up! You know, that's exactly what they're doing there. That's exactly what what's going on there. And their big thing, of course, <clears throat> is global warming. That's their big thing. And because of global warming, they're going to use that. They're going to use global warming to take away every freedom. So when these people are so afraid of uh, what they call misinformation and disinformation, it means that they feel threatened. Well, at least that's my personal opinion. They are afraid that people will not go along with their plans. They're afraid that people will have an opinion on their own and they are afraid that they're losing. Now of course in the report they are pointing at misinformation coming from you know states led by a dictator and so on where they control the press <laughs> and all that pointing at a certain big bear in the east I guess that's what they're trying to say uh, but you know some people would say that why don't you hold up a mirror so I guess what we need to do is to keep using our voice. 
We cannot let these people own what they call the truth. To keep using your voice, uh, feel free to leave a comment and like this video if you liked it. Um, and also consider subscribing to this channel. It helps tremendously if you can do that. We need to stick together, you know, in the times ahead of us. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but we are going to remain strong and determined that these people who want to rule the world and to decide for us how we are going to live our lives, those people will not win. They will not get what they want because we will remain strong. Okay. Thank you for watching.